Good morning students. Today we are going to learn civics. We will be learning a new chapter. Chapter number 4 Fundamental Rights Part 1. Students, these are the important points that we are going to learn from the chapter. First, we will be learning what are the rights or what is the meaning of rights after that we will be learning three important rights that is right to equality right to liberty and right against exploitation students have a look at the pictures what do you see in the first picture are school going children who says that education is our right in the second picture we can see that there are workers or the people who do some kind of job they says that we must get a assurance of a minimum wage it is our right students wages is the amount of money they get in return of their work in the third picture we can see that there are adivasi women or the tribal women they are saying that we have a right over our forest and its resources as the adivasi people live in forest they have a right to collect all the resources available from the forest for their livelihood students in the above pictures you have constantly heard of the word right but do you know what is the meaning of the word rights now let us study in detail about it students you all must have seen some play cards or board or pamphlets relating to the above pictures you must have seen them in newspapers or rally or somewhere else in a protest march or in a rally sometimes a certain demand is been made asserting it as their basic right the people in the protest march claim that it is their basic right and their demands should must be fulfilled but tell me students have you ever wondered what is a right rights are the legal social and the ethical principles of freedom that each and every individual or each and every person has we all get our rights at the time of our birth every newborn baby has a right to live its life everyone has a right to live their life according to their own wish the entire society around us and also the government take various efforts to ensure that the baby is in the best of his health it means all the people around us in the society and the government helps each and every individual to live its life and also to make sure that all the people gets access to their rights it is only when all the individual human beings gets complete protection from injustice exploitation discrimination and deprivation then only they will be able to freely develop their personal skills and qualities making a fair demand for one's right is also equal to insisting on creating a atmosphere that is conductive and fair enough for the development 
of ourselves as well as for the entire society we must have complete knowledge about our rights and whenever we feel that there is injustice exploitation discrimination against us then it is our right to raise our voice and ask for our basic rights and fight for freedom and justice only when we get access to all our rights then we will be able to live and develop our hidden skills and live a better life in a good atmosphere in order to create a good and conductive atmosphere for our development the indian constitution has guaranteed equal rights to all the people or all the citizens of india these rights which are guaranteed to everyone by the indian constitution are called as the fundamental rights as these fundamental rights are included in the constitution they have the status of law it is imperative for everybody to abide by these rights no one can steal or take away these basic fundamental rights from us if anyone tries to cheat us or does not allow us to get the freedom which is offered in these rights then we have the right to go and ask for protection of ourselves from the person who is harming us or who is violating our fundamental rights these fundamental rights are applicable to all people living in india students now let us study about the rights that are mentioned in the constitution there are in total six basic fundamental rights that all of us enjoy as per the constitution in this chapter we will be learning about the first three rights the remaining three rights will be taught in the next chapter the first three rights which are included in the constitution are right to equality second right to liberty and third right against exploitation now let us learn in detail about these three rights students the first important fundamental right stated in the constitution is right to equality equality means being treated equal or giving same treatment to everyone according to the right to equality the state or the government cannot discriminate among its citizens all these people should get equal and fair treatment also the discrimination on the basis of superior and inferior or in between men and women should not be done as per the right to equality the law or the rule of the nation is same and equally applied to all under the right to equality there are many laws which give us protection for example we have protection from arrest without warrant it means if the police comes to arrest us we have the law which state that the police cannot arrest us without arrest warrant this is the law for our protection also the right to equality states that 
the state or the government cannot discriminate among the people while extending such protections the state should provide equal protection to all its citizens there are also some other things which are included in the right to equality these things are first the state cannot discriminate against any of its citizens on the basis or on the grounds of its religion caste race sex descent or place of birth or residence for government employment it means whether we belong to any caste or religion or whether the place of birth or our place of residence or living is in any part of india we should get equal treatment from the government also in case of government jobs second the inhuman practice of untouchability that was prevailed in our country has been abolished by law students in the earlier times the people belonging to lower caste or lower sections of society were considered as inferior and hence they were not touched by other people even such people were not allowed to enter the temple to take water from the well etc but due to right to equality as all people should get equal treatment this practice of untouchability has been abolished or cancelled the practice of untouchability in any form is a conceivable offence it means that if any of the indian citizen is found responsible are still following the practice of untouchability then he or she will be severely punished by the government the practice of untouchability has been abolished or removed so that there is equality among all the people living in the indian society also under the right to equality act the constitution has abolished certain titles that create an artificial hierarchy among the people in order to consider or to show oneself more stronger or superior some of the people add various titles with their names such titles like raja maharaja raj bahadur etc have been abolished by the constitution and no special treatment is provided for them students the constitution of india has prevented the state or the government from giving any of the titles that creates inequality among the members of the society but the state can confer awards like the padma shri padma bhushan padma vibhushan etc for the distinguished contribution in the different field if any of the person has done remarkable and very good work in any respective field then the government recognizes his or her work by giving such award among all these awards the bharat ratna is the greatest civilian honor or the greatest award given to any indian citizen for all the soldiers who have provided remarkable services in the armed force the state honors medals to them like the paramvir chakra ashok chakra 
and the Shaurya Chakra. All these awards are only a recognition and a way of appreciating the people for their special contribution. These awards do not give any special rights or special VIP treatment to the person receiving this award. Students, the second fundamental right is the right to liberty. The right to liberty is a very important right that is given to us by our constitution. The right to liberty gives us a guarantee of all the necessary freedoms that we require from the point of view of an individual citizen. The important freedoms that the right to liberty guarantee to us are freedom of speech and expression. It means we all have the freedom to express our thoughts and speak freely. Second, freedom to assemble peacefully. Students, assemble means to gather together. We are free to gather together or to conduct any functions through peaceful ways. Third, freedom to form associations or unions. Fourth, freedom to move freely throughout the territory of India. It means if we want to go or if we want to visit any of the other city within our country India, then we are free to go. We don't require any special permission or the passport or other documents to travel within our country India. The next freedom is freedom to reside and settle in any part of the territory of India. As we are free to go in any of the part of India, in the same way we are free to reside or to permanently stay in that place. The only fact to remember is the place where we are traveling or we are residing should be a part of India. The last freedom under the right to liberty is the freedom to practice any lawful profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business of one's choice. It gives us the freedom to practice any of the job which is completely legal as stated in the constitution. The right to liberty in the constitution has guaranteed us with the freedom of speech and movement. It has also provided us with the security to keep ourselves safe. This legal protection to keep ourselves safe has been given to everybody equally. This protection cannot be denied or cancelled for anyone. For example, we all have a right to life. It must be appearing very simple to you, but it has a very deep significance. It means that we all have a guarantee to live our life and also we have the right of availability of a conductive and a better environment for living our life. The right to life also states that nobody can take away another person's life. No person can be arrested or detained without any reason. Students, these are some of the provisions in the right to liberty 
that help us to live our life with dignity and happily the right to liberty also includes the right to education all the children who belong to the age group of 6 to 14 years are entitled to get education this is a fundamental right that each and every child gets the right to education ensures that no child will be deprived or kept away from the brightness of education all the children belonging to the age of 6 to 14 years should compulsory get primary or the basic education students in addition to the right to live there are some of the other supplementary rights these rights are first nobody can be punished two times for the same mistake or same crime second before being punished the allegations against the person have to be proved it means if the person is found innocent then no punishment can be given to that person third the court has to perform the task it means punishing the person is the responsibility only of the court and no other person fourth the police collects evidence against the accused and put up a case in the court it means before filing any case or complaint against anyone proper evidence or proof should be collected fifth even if the person accept that he has committed a crime he is not punished immediately so here the punishment should not be given immediately just on the basis of someone saying that he or she has done it but the allegations have to be proved legally the person have to show proof in front of the court that whatever crime he or she is accepting is actually the truth this is all under the judicial process and it usually takes time because it is necessary to prove the allegations and to see to it that no innocent person gets punished students this is also one of the reason why the court case takes longer time because they have to study all the proof and then decide the crime the third fundamental law that is stated in the constitution is right against exploitation students the right against exploitation implies the right that every person has to raise its voice against being exploited The constitution has already banned all types of obstruction through which the right against exploitation is been violated. The constitution has also made special provisions to prevent the exploitation of small children. According to the right against exploitation, it is prohibited or not allowed to employ children under the 14 years of age in any hazardous or dangerous places children cannot be employed or made to work in factories and mines students according to right against exploitation all the children who have not yet completed the age of 14 are not allowed to work in any factory mines or other dangerous place 
exploitation also includes the bonded labor or forcing somebody to work against his or her wish if any person is been forced to work in any place without their wish then that also comes under exploitation also treating someone like a slave or denying the person from legitimate compensation that is not giving the basic amount of salary or wages to workers is also termed as exploitation of the worker or the person making or forcing the person to do excessive or strenuous that is harmful or dangerous work starving them or ill treating and misbehaving with other people is also termed as exploitation if any of the person faces such type of exploitation then that person have the right to raise its voice against such exploitation generally women children the weaker sections of the society and the powerless people are been exploited the right against exploitation helps and enables every one of us to stand up and raise our voice against any kind of social exploitation faced by us so students these were the three important fundamental rights that every citizen of india enjoys they are right to equality right to liberty and right against exploitation we will study about the remaining three rights in the next chapter till then thank you